Hi folks, this is Nicole Cushing coming to you once again on my road trip to Necronomicon. And I'm here by the Poe statue in downtown Richmond, Virginia. Of course, Poe spent a, quite a bit of his time in Richmond. He grew up in Richmond. He grew up here. Uh, and so it's fitting that the town finally, in 1958, erected a statue to him. Uh, I'm going to show you the statue in a little bit. First, I will uh, talk a little bit about the inscription, which um, gives him tribute. Uh, it, it's a tribute to the admiration of Poe's scholarly genius and as an eminent and vigorous writer and poet. Now, I think it's a little bit damning with faint praise to call him vigorous. Uh, you know, lots of people are vigorous. James Patterson is vigorous, but, um, but he was brilliant. He was at his best. Uh, few could keep up with him or surpass him. Uh, he is uh, the great granddaddy of us all. So, uh, yeah, I have a great deal of admiration for uh, his stories like The Telltale Heart, uh, The Ma uh, Mask of the Red Death, The Black Cat might be one of my favorites. So without any further ado, here is the statue itself, as best I can depict it here with uh, the absence of a selfie stick or uh, the absence of, uh, of a friend here to help me with it. And um, yeah, it's just kind of cool. So uh, although it is a little bit disheveled, uh, I don't know if you could see, but it had, uh, there's some bird crap on it. There's some cobwebs, uh, there's some grime. Uh, Richmond, you need to take better care of his statue. But yeah, that's the statue of Poe. I'm gonna try to get a better picture of it. Actually, here, let me see. Is that gonna work? Is this gonna work? That might work. Anyway, Poe statue in Richmond.